nein. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. How are you today, teacher? A little bit tired, but fine. What about oh, you? <laughs> yeah. uh, fine, teacher. Yeah. I'm a little, a little bit tired, so. Yeah, that's nice, nice, nice. Yes, teacher. We are getting to the end of the week. Good right. evening, teacher. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. What are you up? Fine too. We're nice, ready, waiting for our day number 18. Imagine we're close, very, very, very close to the end of the course. Just a couple of days and we say goodbye. Yeah. It's nice. Let me see, we are seven. Oh, that's nice. Seven, seven. Was it a good day? Did it rain where you live? Was it raining today where you live? Or no? Hmm? Early in the morning? Well, no, at noon. At noon, it was Sorry, teacher, I didn't hear you. San Salvador, right? In the evening, in the afternoon? Yeah. Or now? Is it raining now? Yeah, in the, in the afternoon was raining very hard. Right. Uh, over here. Yes. Wow. And, well, somehow it's good because the temperature lowers, right? The temperature lowers, but when it doesn't rain, it becomes very, very mm. Now, let's see. Okay, we're nine now. I'm going to check who are here. I'm going to call you. So, you tell me present. See. Mm. <laughs> let's see. Now you tell me present. <coughs> Abner Adoni. Abner Adoni. Present, present. No? Alexa? <coughs> Alexa, no here. Alexa? Ana Luisa? Andre? Present teacher. Okay. Andy? Presente. Arely? Arely Isabel? Erling? Here I am. Mm -hmm. Irma Noemi. <laughs> Irma Noemi. Carla. Carla Milena. María. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Marta Marisol. Marta. Mauricio. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening. Miguel Angel. 
Miguel Angel no here. Nancy Katia. Good evening, present. Okay. Oscar. Present teacher. Okay. Silvia. Present teacher. Ursula. Hi, teacher present. <laughs> Ursula, okay, nice, nice. William Giovanni. Present teacher. Excellent. Okay, every anybody connected after I call you? Teacher present. Hi, Carla. Carla Milena. Okay. Great, great, Carla. Anybody else? Mm -hmm. Anybody else? No more. Let's see. Okay, yeah. Oops, we are 12. Perfect. Wait. Well. Remember, do you remember what we were talking about yesterday? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, to see how much to uh, see how much you remember I have I have a couple of of sentences right that we are going to complete quickly let's see okay June 21st Right, June twenty first today, and that's our our topic today. How to use gerunds? That's what we are going to be talking about. How to use gerunds? Now, participants will be able to finish a conversation using gerunds in different forms correctly, right? So we're going to use gerunds as verbs, as nouns, like at the beginning of a sentence. And we're going to make different sentences using them, right? Well, you're going to do a conversation at the end. Okay. Now, let's see. Um, can you help me write this? So and such to each of the sentences. Mm -hmm. Refreshing what we were working yesterday. Let's see, let's see. Samantha is so beautiful. Samantha is. So beautiful. So beautiful. Mm -hmm. She is such a yes. nice so woman. Such a nice woman. Such a nice woman. Paris is. So, so big. big. So big. It is. Such a large, such a large city. Such a large. It is such a large city. Mm -hmm. It was. Such a bad day. Aha. Uh -huh. 
it was such a bad day. It was. It was so windy. It was so windy. Yeah. These those are. These dogs are so, these dogs are so, so lovely. lovely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they are such, such, yeah. They are such cute. Yeah, such cute dogs. Mm. And the next one, don't say. Don't say so. such words. Mm. Uh -huh. Don't remember that such can be followed by a, an adjective and a noun or just a noun, right? Don't say such words. You shouldn't be. Uh -huh. You shouldn't be so rude. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Nice. I have another set of sentences for you. Let's see. I'm so or such. So. I'm so excited about my trip to Canada. I'm so excited about my trip to Canada. Number two. It's such. It's such a change. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's such a change. You couldn't make it to the party. Number three. It worked. So hard. He worked so hard on that proposal. Number four. <coughs> He's so such an amazing cook. Yeah. <laughs> He's such an amazing cook. But I always ask him for recipes. You heard my cat. Okay, my cats. My cat. <laughs> it's like you cheated the last sentence, right? My cat, my cats have got what? Mm -hmm. Such. Such gorgeous eyes. Yes. Such. Okay. Any questions? No. No. Well, today, remember, we're talking about geons. Right, so we're going to read this conversation, practice a little bit, and enter to detail with the, the structures of gerunds. Well, uh, I'm going to read along first, and you tell me if you have any questions, about anything, and then we will read it together, okay? The sales were not so good this month. Therefore, increasing our sales is our target this month. Do you have any idea about what to do? Sure. 
first analyzing and keeping track on the incomes and outcomes has to be mandatory on, on each sale. Make a change here, use plus. Mm, that's a good idea. Also, I'm interested in buying raw materials, so we have more money. However, I prefer getting a bank loan for that, but I know that we can pay it with the incomes we get. I'm concerned about asking for money, but let's try it out. Can you see increasing, repeat, increasing. 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 Analyzing. 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 Keeping. 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 Batting. Getting. Badging. 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 Getting. 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 Asking. Getting. Asking. Asking. Mandatory. 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 Interesting. Raw materials. Raw materials. Raw materials. However. 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 Bank loan. Bank, bank loan. Long. 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 Mm -hmm. Concern. 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 Okay. One more time. Now you read after me. I can repeat after me. The sales were not so good this month. The sales were not so good this month. The sales were not. Support this. this month. Increasing ourselves. Increasing ourselves. Increasing ourselves. ourselves. It's our target this month. It's, it's our, our target this, this month. Do you have any idea about what to do? Do, do you, you have, have any, any idea, idea about what, what to do? do? Sure. 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 First, analyzing and keeping track on the incomes and outcomes. First, First analyzing and keeping track on the incomes and outcomes. Has to be ma a mandatory on each sale. Has to be has mandatory, to be mandatory on each cell. It's a good idea. That's a good idea. That's, That's a idea. good idea. That's a good idea. That's, That's a, a good, good idea. 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 That's a good idea. Yeah. Also. 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 also I'm interested in buying raw materials. I'm interested in buying raw materials. So we save more money. 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 More money. However, 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 I prefer getting a bank loan for that. I, I prefer, prefer getting, getting a bank loan, loan, loan for that. 
but I know that we can pay it. But, but I but know, I know that, that we can pay, we can pay the incomes we get. The <laughs> incomes, incomes we get. I'm concerned about asking for money. I concerned I'm about concerned asking about for, for money. But let's try it out. 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 Okay, now I'm going to be Hugo and you all are Milton, okay? The sales were not so good this month. Therefore, increasing our sales is our target this month. Do you have any you ideas have about, any ideas what about what Sure. First, analyzing and keeping track on the incomes and outcomes has to be mandatory on each sale. That's a good idea. Also, I interested in building raw materials so we save more money. More money? However, I prefer getting a bank loan for right. that. But I know that we can pay it with the incomes we get. Milton. I concern about the skip for money, but money. let's try it like all. Okay, now you are Hugo and I'm Milton. Okay, let's begin. The cells were not to go this month. Therefore, more crazy or sad is our tiger this month. Do you have any idea about what to do? Sure. sure. First analysis and skipping track on the comments and old comments. Has to be monitoring on each cells. That's a good idea. Also, I'm interested in buying raw materials so we save more money. However, oh, I prefer getting a bank loan for that, but I don't know that we can pay is why the comments we get. I'm concerned about asking for money, but let's try it out. Okay, any questions there? Questions? <laughs> mm -hmm. No question? Sí. Got me? <laughs> Tell me. Um, esta palabra incomes. Mm -hmm. Se pronuncia incomes. Income, exactly. Income. La E es muda. Igual para oh. outcome. Ok, y la primera, therefore. 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 Yes, yeah. therefore. There. Ok. Listo. <coughs> therefore. Ah, any other question there? Ro Teacher. Ya. Yeah. In Spanish, therefore. Por eso. Es por eso que. Mm, okay. mm -hmm. Any other question here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, no more. No. Okay, perfect. Daya, we are going to practice this conversation together. And after practicing the conversation, you answer these three questions. What is the objective this month? What is the objective? Oh, yeah, no, the objective. Mm -hmm. What is the objective this month? Oh, the o de ir podría ser también como por ser el, el objetivo de ellos, ¿verdad? Cuando sí. de ir 
ob objective these loans and what are some steps they want to follow. What is one of them worried about? A worried, you won't find the word worried, but you find the word concern. It says, I'm concerned about asking for money. I'm worried about asking for money. Concern means worry, right? So it's the thing. What is one of them worried about? Okay. Let's see. So you go to your manual. Let me tell you the page. Let me see. 41. 41. Oh, perfect. Go to page 41 then. Oh. Ready, ready. Page 41, if you can. I'm going to send you then to the group so you practice the conversation. I'm going to send you in trios. Well, yeah. Okay, let's take turns in sharing and practicing with the others. Let's go. Join, join. Mm -hmm. Silvia, Silvia, Oscar, Hi. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Este, ¿En qué página del manual íbamos a trabajar? Es page 41. 41. Yeah, 41. Page 41. Mm -hmm. uh, there you have the conversation and the questions in the same page. Okay. Forty one, forty one, forty one, forty one. Forty one. Espere mi momentito. Todo lo que carga. Yo por igual no lo tengo descargado. No lo no lo va a compartir en el grupo, ticha. Tienen que se lo ponga, ya sé. Ay, sí, sí porque no lo que no. Ok. Ah, a ver, ¿qué carga primero? Creo que no he abierto WhatsApp. Dije, sí. <ríe> ah, si no, no. Ok. No, ahí se me actualizó. Ahí está. No. Ah, se me vuelve. ¿Qué llega primero? Uh -huh, yeah, because I have to charge a WhatsApp that I have to have it open. Yo, ¿por qué no le he descargado ese manual? ¿Por qué? 
estresa de descargar documentos, me tengo topada la computadora de tantos documentos descargados. Oh my God. Ah, vaya, but here it is now. I'm sharing. I don't believe. Mm. No, otra vez no. Ahí está. <laughs> Esa es la conversación y, y, y vamos a... Ah, the questions, right? Yeah. Okay. The questions are here. Uh, teacher, una yeah. pregunta. Dígame. En el momento de pronunciar, ¿cómo se pronuncia? ¿Kate Pink? ¿O cómo es? ¿O así es? ¿Cuál? And this Sure, fear analysis, a uh, keeping. A keeping, keeping. A keeping. 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 Sí. Cuando ve dos O, dos E juntas suenan como I. Cuando ve dos O juntas suenan como U. U. Uh -huh. uh, keeping. Ok. Ahí está. I pasted the questions too in the chat. Ahorita. Oh. Vamos a ver. ¿Cuál es el objetivo? Dice. De. En inglés, en inglés, vamos. Any idea about that? About what to do? Sure. First, analysis and keeping. Trade. Analysis. Analysis. analysis and keeping. Mm -hmm. Trade on the comments and on, on, on comments. How to be outcome. a man that. Outcome. 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 Yeah. outcome. outcome. And outcome have income. to be mandatory on yourself. That's good idea. Also, I am interested in buying raw road materials, so we save more money. Or where I prefer getting getting a bunch loan. For that, but I know that we can pay it with the incomes. Incomes, we, incomes, the incomes, the incomes, we, incomes, the in, uh -huh. the incomes, incomes, we, we get. We get. Okay, I'm concerned about asking for money. But let's try out. Si gustas, leo nuevamente como Hugo y usted como Milton. Milton. Ok. The sales were not so good this month. Therefore, increasing for sales is our target is this month. Do you have any idea about what to any do? Any idea? Idea? Yes. Any, any idea? Any idea, idea. Sí. idea about what to do? Sure. First, <laughs> analyzing and keeping track on the incomes and outcomes. How to be mandatory, mandatory, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Mandatory. mandatory. Mandatory on each cell. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. Idea. Idea, idea. perdón. Idea. That's a good idea. Also, I interest in both. Inter 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 interested. Interested. In building in raw materials. In buying. 
buying. Buying, perdón, perdón. Buying, buying raw materials. materials. So we have so sub more money. Money. Uh, however, I prefer getting a bank loan for that, but I know that we can pay it with the incomes we get. Incomes. Incomes. Incomes, incomes we get. Incomes we get. I consent. I consent. Concern. 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 Mm -hmm. About a skit for month for money, but let try. Let's try. Let's try it out. Let's try it out. Let's try it out. Okay, ahorita es el turno de Nancy con Angie. Okay, thank you. Ok, ¿quién es quién? Comience Angie, si gusta. Oh. Ok. The sales were no so good this month. Therefore, increasing our sales is our target this month. Do you have any idea about what to do? Sure. Fears and um, analyzing and keeping track on the incomes and outcomes has to be mandatory on each cell. That's a good idea. Also, I'm interested in buying raw materials. I'm so, so interested. 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 Mm -hmm. I'm so interested okay. in buying raw materials. Continue, Angie. However, 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 I prefer getting a pound loan for that. But I know that we can pay it with the incomes we get. Mm -hmm. I'm concerned about asking for money but let's try it out. Ok, hoy al revés. O como. Ok. Sí, sí, está bien. The sales were not so good this month. Therefore, increasing our sales is our target. Quiero ver. Sí, vamos a ver el otro. Dice que quiere pedir un préstamo. Ajá, que quiere pedir un préstamo, ¿verdad? For that. Sí. But I know that we can pay it with the comes to get. Serían entonces tres prácticamente como pasos. O cuáles, ¿se pueden ver algún otro como paso que, que querría hacer? <coughs> Quizá eso y al final con el fin de vender más. Quiero ver. Para no that we can pay. Raise or sales. ¿De cuál, de cuál, Mauricio? De las tres. La primera sería este. Perfect What is one of them worried about? De la tres. Yeah. Ah, permítame que esa no, no. No sé qué significa. Which one, Carla? La tercera. Worried, ¿qué significa? Worried es preocupado. ¿Preocupado? Preocupado. Ah, pues uno dice, don't worry. Mm -hmm. What is one name worried?
Ok, este... ¿De qué se preocupa? Sería prácticamente, ¿verdad? No. Ajá. ¿De qué está preocupada? <coughs> De las ventas, de sales. Mm. Creo que es por sacar el crédito al banco porque ah. dice que le da un poco de temor. Exacto. Mm. Vamos a ver. Sí. Entonces sería en, en bueno, en de eso sería la respuesta, ¿verdad? Del préstamo del banco a Bank Loan. En ese caso solamente sería uno nada más, lo del préstamo del banco. Creo que sí. Para Para incrementar las ventas, ¿sabes? Sí, pero ¿qué hizo de eso? ¿Qué cosa? ¿Qué Los ingresos igual no serían. Bueno, el préstamo bancario. Sí, sí. Y eso podemos practicar en la conversación. Ok. Vamos a ver. Si quiere, comience usted con Silvia. Okay. Sería um, practicar la 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 cómo se llama la conversación nuevamente. Sí. ¿Cuáles son las okay. preguntas? Yo voy a hacer este Hugo. The cell were not so good this month, therefore, in Christine, increasing, 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 por target this month. Do you have ideas about what do what to do? Source. First, analyzing and keeping track when the incomes 
and outcomes <coughs> perdón has to be <coughs> has to be mandatory mandatory on each cells does a good ideas awesome I am interested in building rad materials so we set more money oh we were I prefer getting a bank long a bank loan for that but I know that we keep we can pay Nine seconds. Okay, nice, nice. Everybody back. Let's see. What is their objective this month? Tell me. What is their objective this month? The objective this month are increase our sales. Okay, is the increase of sales. Very good. And what are some steps that they want to follow? There, there are, for example, the first one, analysis. And then the second one, keeping track of um, the income or on, sorry, and outcomes. The incomes and outcomes <clears throat> of sales. Yeah, uh, maybe uh, they are interest, interest uh, for buying raw material. Mm -hmm. And also uh, they are thinking about uh, getting a back loan. Exactly. So they are thinking about getting a bank loan. Very good. Nice, nice. They are worried about that too, right? Number three? Yeah, but it's necessary. Mm -hmm. Number three, they are worried. Yeah, one of them is thinking about getting a bank loan. He says, mm, that's the best thing. But the other one says, mm, I'm concerned about that. When you say I'm concerned, that means I'm worried, right? So I'm worried. I know that could be the, the, the solution that it doesn't mean that I'm not going to worry, even if that's the only thing. Okay. Any El question? Tren. Hmm? Tren quedó, uh, bank loan. Exactly. He's, uh, they are worried about getting a bank loan. Do you feel worried when you have to get a bank loan? Yes. <laughs> yeah, right? Uh -huh. So the same is the case for the people here. They are worried about getting a bank loan. Okay, nice, nice. Any questions here? No questions? Not okay. Nice. Nice, nice. Okay. Let's see. Check. As you can see in the conversation, today we're talking about gerunds, right? 
gerunds and the use of each of the, how we form the gerunds, right? And what is the use that we give to the gerunds? Okay, check. First, we have a general rule on how to form gerunds. When we have any, any verb, any, we can say any, that there are, of course, some rules to follow. But for example, if we have an, a verb, what we are going to do to that verb, okay? When you, what you're going to do to that verb, first thing, like the first general rule is this. You have feel, the infinitive to feel, right? Feel, and we add ing. Feel, feeling. Go, going. Work, working. Slip, slip. Then you say play, play. Mm -hmm. Play, play. Yes. Can you tell me another verb that comes to your mind? Sleep, sleep. Huh? Sleep, yeah. Sleep, sleeping. Another one? Understand. Sleep, sleeping. Mm. Wrong. Okay. Uh, y para el jeb. Ah, ah, ya vamos a llegar a eso. ¿Qué pasa cuando... Eh, ¿Cuáles son los verbos que no se apegan a esta regla general? ¿Sí? So, Has. Drink. Drinking. It. It is. That's why we say this is the general rule. Es como la la más común eh, tenemos tenemos la la cómo se llama el verbo eso lo ponemos ahí en jija okay now when you have those verbs como el que me acaban de preguntar que termine en mi if the verb finishes in me we omit the E, right? We eliminate it and then we add ING. See? Live, living. Have, having. Make, making. Take, taking. We can say move. See? Move. Moving. So if the verb finishes in E, we omit the E and we add ING. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so remember the general rule is any verb that you find, you only add ING. Second rule if the verb finishes in E, I eliminate the E and I add ING. Yeah. Live living, have having, make making, take taking, and moving. Ahora, there are some verbs that have more than one uh, syllable, right? Like in this case. But there are some others that have only one. See here. Stop. Stopping. If I have a verb that has only one syllable, but a part of that I have consonant, vowel, consonant. If I have consonant, vowel, consonant, I'm going to double the second consonant, and then I'm going to add ing. See, stop, stopping, sit, stop. Sitting, sitting, plan, sitting, planning, get, getting, dig, digging. See, we have dig, digging.
run. Running. Aquí no hay eh, que preocuparse si el verbo es regular, si es irregular, es un poco, ¿no? Porque esta regla se le puede agregar a todo el verbo. But you have to see eh, what is the ending of the verb, how many syllables it has. Okay? Stop, stopping, sit, sitting, plan, planning, get, getting, swim, swimming, dig, digging, run, running, shop, shopping, right? But check. One syllable and consonant, vowel, consonant. It, it doesn't matter if we have two consonants at the beginning, no problem. See? But it is a problem if I have two consonants aquí. Por ejemplo, watch. No puedo agregarle otra consonant. Watch ya tiene dos bien, right? O... Another situation is, for example, eh, when the bird has a letter that we can double because there are no words with double with that word on double. Okay. In British English, you may find travel with double L and you say traveling with double L, pero this is British. In American English, no le pega esa regla porque travel tiene dos sílabas. Y acuérdense la regla, es que tenga una sílaba. ¿Sí? Only one. Si tiene una sílaba, muy bien. I double the consonant. And then I add in G. But if it has two syllables, like the case of tra, tra, well, in that case, in American English, we will not double the L. In British, they do. Right? Les digo porque así de por casualidad lo ven con doble L. Así entonces, ¿por qué? Because it's British. In that case, if you see it with double L, it's because it is in British. But in American English, it has only one. Any question here? No question. Okay. Let's see. Number two. When <clears throat> you have two syllable verbs. It says if a two syllable verb ends in a consonant plus a vowel plus a consonant, we do not double the final consonant, right? When the stress is on the first syllable. So you have happen, happening, enter, entering, offer, offering, suffer, suffering. Check what is the stress? Es la fuerza de voz que cae, ¿verdad? Happen. Enter. Offer. Suffer. <coughs> you have to be careful because the stress is the one that helps you with the pronunciation. <coughs> if I put the stress on the second syllable, that will happen. No happen. <coughs> but we don't want to say happen, right? <coughs> we want to say happen. Enter. Offer. Suffer. Okay? But as you see, we have two syllables. We do not double. The same happens to travel. Travel lleva el estrés en la primera sílaba. Travel. We don't say travel. I we say travel. So, we do not double the function. Any question here? Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. Analyze. <laughs> Analyze. Teacher. Analyze. No question. Come on. No question, teacher. Okay. Mm. Uh, what do you mean, Sylvia? Oh, 
home. Mm. What is it about, Silvia? Can you tell us the topic? Hello. It should be about infinitive, or digo gerunds, right? Or it's about conditional? Mm. No. No, it Pero... should be it should be about gerunds. What's the problem? What's the problem you're getting? Eh, bueno, en la 18 es como elegir el verbo correcto. Ajá. Le he dado a todos lados, pero no a la 1. No le acepta ninguno. No. No, no sé. I imagine it is about Jerons. Because that would be today's class. Here. Oh, do we start? Are you using the verb in ING? Mm. Do you want a double challenge? One, you have to choose a verb from the ones given. Right? Just complete the conversations with the gerund form of the verbs. So you have the verbs give, pay, have, provide, and get checking. With have or with pay, sorry. Pay will be here. Pay is like play, verdad? Hey. Ah, play. Ay, people, le pone play, 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 no quiero play, quiero pay. But check, if we put pay, pay. Ed. Eh, no, estamos hablando de gerunds, ¿verdad? No estamos hablando de pasados ahorita. Pay. Pay. Sí. Mm, Solo le vamos a poner el ing, ¿por qué? Porque, ajá, sí tiene una sílaba, pay, pero no existen palabras con double Y. ¿No hay? No existen, ¿verdad? Sí. Entonces, no le puedo poner double, double Y, aunque dijéramos, ah, pero que solo tiene una sílaba, teacher, y va consonant, va web consonant. Pero acuérdense lo que les dije también, hay que tomar en cuenta si es... Existe, ¿verdad? En inglés, palabras que lleven esta letra doble, como el caso de pay y de play. No es, mire qué bonita la teacher, lo que puso, que nadie me dijo nada. Drinking, great driving, ¿verdad? Drinking. Drinking. Okay. Drinking. Okay. Drinking. So, remember, aquí tenemos una vowel, una consonant only, ¿sí? Pero no hay palabra con double Y. Entonces, no vamos a doblar la Y. Pero acuérdense, vaya, ahorita es como... No estamos hablando del PAS, pues, la semana pasada. Estamos hablando de Jerus. Gerunds. Y el gerund es el ing, el ending el del verbo y con el ending en ing. Y para eso es que ustedes tienen que tener cuidado con esta regla. Cuando solo le agrego ing al verbo, cuando le tengo que eliminar la e, si termino en e, ¿verdad? Le elimino la e, le pongo ing. Si tiene only one syllable, I double the consonant and then I add an ing. Y esta es que es, <coughs> es como la primera, como la general rule, pero es, se le separa por el hecho de que tenemos consonant, vowel consonant al final, pero no lo puede porque es una palabra con dos sílabas, ¿verdad? Right? Y si tiene dos sílabas, no doblo ni una, a menos que usted esté usando British English. 
para in American, que es el que usamos nosotros. Pues no. Ok. Entonces allí eh, tienen double challenge. Tienen uno in the assignment number 18. First, you have to choose what is the verb that goes with each of the sentences. And the second, put the verb in ING. Siguiendo las reglas. Vaya, fíjense, get. Get queda acá. Yeah. Get, get it. With double the T. Si no le pone double T, no se lo va a aceptar. ¿Verdad? No se lo va a tomar bueno. Entonces, probablemente se las toma todas malas porque eh, o no le está poniendo la doble P donde va o me le estaba poniendo el rojo pasado. Be careful. <risa> Creo. Ah, ¿verdad? Vaya, be careful. Remember here, eh, we are using gems. Okay. Su verba tiene que ser con ING. Y me imagino yo, no lo he probado, me imagino yo que solo le está pidiendo el muy verbo, ¿verdad? No le pide la oración completa. Ay, Dios. Sí. A ver. Do we have... No, no, we start. So first you have to choose the verb that goes for it. No me lo voy a poner con mayúscula porque está en medio de la oración. Este es otro. ¿Verdad? Okay. Si lo empieza con mayúsculas, se lo va a tomar mal. Pues siempre me lo toma mal, ya lo puse en minúscula. No, 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 no está poniendo en ahí. Sí. Los verbos no están en orden, usted tiene que decidir cuál quiere usar. Ok. Ok. Seguiré probando. Uh -huh. I check it primero, lo que no se me tiene en ING. Y tiene que ver cuál va a dónde. La, la última si te metieron un capilarero porque es la que está empezando Ok, seguiré probando a ver qué. Vaya, ok. Vamos a ver. Vaya, <ríe> all, remember to use the Remember to use the verbs with ing. That's crucial. One, use the words in ing. The second, you cannot use, you cannot repeat the words. Remember to follow to follow the rules that we have been talking about. Mm -hmm. 
son, son gels, but you need to use the gels. Okay, any questions here? This is basic for you to do a assign, assignment number 18 correctly. It is crucial that you know these rules, right? Bye. Now, <laughs> how are we going to complete the sentences? So check. She's interested in, we have an adjective plus a preposition in. After, after prepositions, we use the verb in the ing form. She's interested in learning English, no English. She's interested in learning English. Yeah. I'm tired of traveling by bus. Check traveling. Traveling only one year, right? Because we said that if the verb it has two syllables and the stress is on the first syllable. We do not double the consonant. So you have traveling with one. Okay, tire of, tire of, happy about, happy about. Check. We have here some prepositions. Now we're talking about the use. We already uh, talked about the rules on how to make the gerund. Now let's talk about the use. You have, for example, she's interested in learning English. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's interested in learning English. Preposition in. I'm tired of traveling by bus. Preposition. Jerry. After prepositions, we are going to use Jerry. Right? He's happy about going out. Happy about. She had dinner before. Before is also a preposition. So she had dinner before coming. She went to bed after reading her book. Mm -hmm. So, remember, after prepositions, we use gerunds. Yeah? After a preposition, you use gerunds. Any question? Mm -hmm. No. Vamos al uso de prepositions. After prepositions, we use gerunds. Okay. No puedo decir she's interested in learn. Uh -uh. I have to say she's interested in learning. Ahora. Check this. We have a different uh, uses of gerunds, and you have the first one that we were discussing. That after a preposition, in, I'm interested in buying raw material. I'm concerned about asking for money. So after a preposition, I use a ing. I use a gel. Ahora, I use a gerund, I can use a gerund at the beginning or as a subject, right? As a subject, when I say increasing ourselves, it's mandatory. Producing what a high quality goods is our target. Learning English is my purpose. Yeah. Passing the course is very important. Mm -hmm. So I can use this gerund as a subject. 
And when I use gerunds as a subject, I put the gerund at the beginning of the sentence. See? Check in vez de decir a I or he or she, tengo un subject que es un gerund. Okay? Now, there are also some verbs. Some verbs that are followed by a gerund. You say, I think that I prefer getting a bank loan. Si yo dijera, I would prefer, preferiría, I would prefer, I would like, ocupo el verbo en, en infinitive. Pero si ocupo, prefer, like, mi verbo va a ir en gym. Right? So, I prefer getting a bank. I like watching movies. I dislike fighting and grudges. We're going to see a couple of verbs more that we use or that are followed by gems. Mm -hmm. Okay, look at the examples here. First, talking about gerunds as subjects. You see, building, building a career as an artist was one of the highest goals. Buying a house is his dream. Living in the city center can be stressful. Smoking cigarettes is bad for you. Writing a poem was harder than expected. Listening to music is very relaxing. Sleeping mm -hmm. is hard when your mind is full of thoughts. So you see, I and you. Here, we're talking about gerunds, right? Gerunds as subjects. Okay, I would like to listen to some examples coming from you. Who would like to give me a couple of examples? Mm -hmm. Who wants to give me an example about Jaren as, as a subject? Um, volunteer. Mm -hmm. One volunteer, no, no hay nadie. Vamos, vamos, volunteers. Para. para, para, para. To give me an example using gerunds as subjects. Para darle lectura. Mm, to give no. me an example. Mm. For example, teacher trying to do homework mm -hmm. is important. It's important, exactly. Another example. For example, for some people, right? Exercising. Is really important. Mm -hmm. Another one, one more. Taking a shower is <clears throat> good for health. Taking a shower here on body. Taking a shower is good for your health. 
Working hard is so satisfying. Satisfying. Yeah, working hard is satisfying. Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. One more, one more. Mm -hmm. One more example. No more. Okay. Let's go to the second part. Remember, we said one a subject, second as after some verbs. Fíjense que hay una infinidad de verbos eh, después de los cuales usamos alguien, pero no nos vamos a ir con mucho, no vamos a quedar con unos. Por ejemplo, like, hate, love, enjoy, love, right? These verbs are followed by genuine. For example, stop to. A stop has two possibilities, uh, to use a gerund or to use an infinity, but the meaning changes. But I'm going to tell you something. There are two groups of verbs, right? Two. After a group of verbs, you use only terms. After another group, we use only infinitives. And there is a third group, we move after which, we can use so gerunds or infinitives and there is no difference, right? But there is another group after which you use gerund and infinitive, but there is difference. First thing, usually we make sentences with only one verb, ¿verdad? No nos andamos preocupando que cuánto verbo le voy a poner. Usualmente usamos uno. Pero ¿qué pasa si usted en una oración quiere usar dos verbos. No nos vamos a ir a ponerle solamente el verbo así normal, como, ah, he, look, he likes play. Uh -uh. Cuando yo ocupo dos verbos en una oración, tengo que ver si sí. el segundo verbo, cheque el segundo, va a ir en gerund o va a ir en infin. ¿Verdad? Pues siempre hay que ver eso. Si estoy ocupando dos verbos en una oración, mi segundo verbo va a ir en gerund o va a ir en infinity. El primero puede ir como quiera, no hay problema, puede ir en present, puede ir en past, puede ir en cualquier forma que usted quiera, pero el segundo tiene que ir en gerund o en infinity. Uh -huh. Ahora, aquí tenemos dos cosas, dos cosas fijas. Una de ellas que no nos la están, no nos la están poniendo acá. O sea, aquí tenemos a Gerald's as objects, Gerald's after some verbs, Gerald's after prepositions, pero les voy a señalar esto antes. El him es un object, es un object pronoun. Y después de object pronouns, también ocupamos gerund. ¿Sí? Después de prepositions, después de ciertos verbos, y también después de object pronoun. Ajá. So that's why we, we say, he loves telling the story of him winning the math contest to his friends. The story of him winning. ¿Sí? So, if I'm going to use a verb after an object pronoun, that verb, that verb has to be a, in ing. Yes? Any question? No question. Sure. Ah. ¿Cómo dice, eh, se puede diferenciar eh, los verbos que se van a poner en peruño o en infinitivo? Ah, 
hay una, hay, son, hay una lista, hay una ah. lista de verbos eh, que le dicen, vaya, después de estos verbos, el segundo verbo va en infinito. Por ejemplo, enjoy, no puedo usar un, un infinity después de enjoy. Así como tampoco puedo usar un gerund después de want, ¿verdad? Entonces, está, hay una lista que sí ya está dada. Entonces, yo, yo la voy a buscar, se la voy a compartir en, en WhatsApp para que ustedes puedan ver después de qué verbos, porque sí es bien importante, ¿verdad? Para que ustedes tengan después de qué verbos se ocupa un gerund y después de qué verbos se ocupa un infinito. Porque no es después de todos, es después de ciertos verbos. Uh -huh. Después de ciertos verbos ocupo gerund y después de ciertos verbos no puedo ocupar gerund, tengo que usar infinito. Por ejemplo, si yo voy a ocupar want, usted dice I want to buy, I need to read, no dice I want buying, no puede, o I need reading, no puede. Ok. Porque ya está dada la lista que, que, que verbo o cuál es la forma del verbo que le corresponde a cada uno. Entonces, por ejemplo, si yo digo like, hate, love, mi siguiente verbo tiene que ir con la ing. Enjoy también. Prefer. So you say look like playing video games. Después del like, no hay problema. Yo puedo usar también el, el infinity, ¿verdad? Look likes to play video games. Y en ese caso, no hay cambio. Por eso les decía, hay verbos que pueden ser seguidos por un gerund o por un infinity, pero que no cambia en lo absoluto. Pero hay otros que pueden ser seguidos por un, por un infinity o por un gerund, pero sí se da una gran diferencia en el significado. Por ejemplo, stop. Si yo digo, he stopped smoking, eso significa que la persona dejó de fumar. Pero si yo digo, he stopped to smoke, iba manejando, se partió por ahí a un lado para fumar. ¿Sí? Entonces, el significado completamente cambia. Yo les voy a compartir... En el, en el chat eh, ese, esa información para que ustedes la puedan tener. Y cuando tengan así alguna duda, tienen que ocupar eh, dos, dos verbos. Checking cuál cambia o cuál es la forma que tiene que llevar el segundo. Ok. Now, you say, I hate Packing suitcases. My favorite thing to do is reading horror books. Definitivamente yo no puedo decir is read. But I have to say is reading. He loves telling the story of him winning the math contest to his friends. I enjoy working as a volunteer during summer. We hate cleaning the house. <laughs> do you hate cleaning? No. Do you love cleaning? Mm -hmm. I hate cleaning. You hate cleaning, yes. That's sad. They love listening to pop music. Mm -hmm. They love mix and listening to pop music. Okay, question. Question, question? No, teacher. Okay. Now, check. We said also that we use gerunds after prepositions, ¿verdad? After having a shower, I waited for Stephen. The tablet must not be taken before getting up in the morning. I managed it by working much longer than 40 hours weeks. What, what was her reaction on hearing the news? He told the joke without laughing. So it doesn't matter the preposition, 
that if I'm going to use a verb after prepositions, that verb has to be in mm -hmm. Questions? No questions? No teacher. We are going to work on, on the sentences. Uh, so you have to decide on what is the verb that you have to use in the sentences, right? Mm -hmm. We have, we have, well, yeah, we have enough, enough time. So I'm going to stop here. You will go to, to the book, to the manual, page number number 42 right page number 42 get together get together i'm going to show you what you will do yeah get together so we have gerunds plus infinity they are afraid of losing the math test but is angry about walking in the rain john is good at working in the garden the girl is crazy about playing tennis. He's disappointed about seeing such a bad report, in such. Um, we are excited about making our own film. Sandy is famous for singing songs. The children are not happy about seeing a doctor. And you're interested in writing points. I'm going to give you couple of minutes for you to work together. Hi, what I want you to do is this. So uh, put into practice all we have been talking about. Uh, you have to choose between the verbs ask, give, pay, have, buy, get, hide, and sell. You have four, four, yeah. You have eight verbs to use. And you have the eight spaces to complete. You have to decide, right? Do you have a decision to take with your group? Uh, first, you have to choose the verb that goes with each of the sentence. And second, you have to think about the general form of that verb to complete the sentences. Okay, question. No, no teacher. No questions. Okay, vámonos pues. Ya me los imagino así. No questions. Y con el micrófono cerrado. Y con la cámara cerrada. No questions. No. Questions, yes. But I cannot see you. But I assume you have no questions. Vámonos a... Um, hmm. Your 14. I'm going to make only three groups so you have enough people to discuss. I'm going to recreate the rooms. Hay unos que quedan así con algo grande. Sí, pero por cualquier cosa, mi mamá. Más que menos, right? Aquí no vamos con el minimalismo, sino que más es mejor. Vaya, there we go. Join. Join the groups. Work together. Complete the sentences. Mm -hmm. If you have any questions, let me know. Join. Join, join. Aunque estén de oyentes, traten de unirse a un grupo, ¿verdad? Algo van a alcanzar a escuchar. Andre, hello, Andre. Ana Luisa. 
André, 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 vamos, try to join here. Nice, nice, nice. There we go. <laughs> Just wait. <laughs> Ya se los mandé a María y al chat de WhatsApp. Ok, thank you, teacher. Hello. Hello. Silvita está bien callada. Con la tarea atrás. de escuela, son escuela. La primera sería giving. Sí, giving. La segunda es playing. Pe paying. P -A -G. Playing. Ahí, uh -huh. paying. Paying. Ah, fue la que me contó en el mundo. Sí. <risa> es que no lo puedo compartir. Creo que lo mandé. No sé si es eso. <risa> la segunda de la A sería giving. Having, ¿cómo es? Eh, pero Having. Que... Quiero ver, pero me lo sé. ¿Verdad? Y uh -huh. la respuesta de la dos, la B sería getting, 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 ¿verdad? Getting, getting. getting. Yes, mm -hmm. I am do, you have, I love getting some. It's, 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 yeah. And number three, providing. Salary. Salary. Yeah. Sí. Each month is our priority. Um, I totally agree with that besides hearing. 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 Uh -huh. New workers has to be another yeah. one. And number four. Ask. I'm worried about asking the bank of the new loan. Asking. 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 Asking about for the new loan. Uh -huh. And the other one is about mm. selling. Selling. About. Number eight. About selling. 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 Uh -huh. selling. Yes. What? Oh. Sorry. Sorry. Repeat one more time. Number one, please. Hello. Hello. La Hola, ¿qué tal? Ahí, ¿cómo andamos por aquí? Ah, creo que solo yo, porque no, no me contestan los compañeros. Sí, ya lo compartió. Alexa, creo que lo iba a compartir.
hola. No, 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 no lo iba a compartir que estoy en el cel. <risa> no creo que fue Arely, creo. Arely. Ajá. Es que usted. <risa> Ya, Ay, no, esperándolo esperando que compartas pantalla no es que no, no puedo con el teléfono que tengo ah, no, pues, no. bueno si lo tenemos todos ahí de, desde el teléfono que... qué quiere las preguntas las preguntas quiere que se los envíe pero se no, envíe la... así, no si ya lo tenemos aquí solo vamos poniendo la respuesta aquí en el chat Ah, ya bien cómodo, pero vea, eh, hay que empezar, hagámoslo rápido, quedamos hablando. <ríe> Cris. Dice, do we start... To Christmas weeks of giving, creo que sería ahí, creo. Giving, no sé cómo se dice. Sí, giving. ¿Qué opinan? ¿Qué opina el público? ¿Cómo? Porque ahí dice nosotros. Ah, sí, creo que eso sería giving. Giving, ¿verdad? Giving. Eso, donación. Ajá, luego. I prefer. Giving. Um, prefiero. Having. No, no. Paying. No. Paying. Paying. Mm. Ajá, sí, having sería la otra. Having. Ajá. Uh -huh. I prefer having. Um, having o paving? Paying, paying, paving. Ah, espérame, espérame. Trabajar una, una semana por un, por un bono. Pago. No, yo creería que having. ¿Qué dice la ticha? Ajá, es que dice que tiene que, prefiere trabajar más semanas para tener un bonus. Entonces sería having. Sí, tener. Uh -huh. Va sí, la sí. otra. Are you interested in in producto? Vamos a ver. Mm, yes, I do. Mm, do you have a love? Buying. Buying. I... Probing? I don't know what it is. Probing. Buying. Because it's the three. The three sería, sería la de paying. La tres. Ah, no. Yo estoy viendo otra cosa, no, no. Es que la, vea, la, la, dos, la dos me parece un poquito confusa. Va, pero bueno, veamos la tres, la tres. Remember sí, that you don't idea. have to repeat. Don't repeat verbs. La número dos sería, ajá, prefer. And did I do you how I love? No. Get. Providing. La dos. Uh huh. Providing. Pero tenemos Porque que ponerle el gerundio. Providing. Providing. ¿Cuál? La número dos. Provide. 
Le provide ten mil dos. Porque está proporcionando los productos a los. Ajá. Vale, luego la respuesta. Yes, I am. Do you have? Giri, Giri, Giri. Giri. Sí. Veamos la tres. La tres ahí sería paying. Pago el salario. Uh -huh. Pagar salario a los empleados cada mes es nuestra prioridad. Totalmente de acuerdo con eso. Además. Irving. Mm. Harding. Sí. Ajá, sí, quizás sí sería eso, Harry. Harry. Sí, Harry. Harry, 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 Harry
Ah, entonces tenemos que escribir completa toda la oración. la oración, sí. Ah. Sí, sí, va a ser toda la oración, toda van completa. Sí. Ah, ok. Vaya, y este, el verbo to be tiene que cambiar. Igual, donde dice be, tiene que Sí. poner el verbo conjugado. Por ejemplo, en la última, if the incomes are good, porque es plural, ¿verdad? Sí. incomes are good, an employee receives a bond. Entonces, allí el truco va a estar en qué. Pongan present, present. Los dos van en present porque es el zero conditional. Y es si tienen que aplicar la tercera persona y tienen que tener cuidado. Ah, okay, teacher. Thanks. Ahí chequen cuándo necesitan es y cuándo no. ¿Vale? Bueno. Eso está más claro. Sí, y esa y esta ese conditional es bastante fácil. Ese no es muy complicado. Okay, one more minute and then I take you out. Twenty four seconds. Four seconds. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Let's show you stuff. Okay, let's see. Do we start? What did you write here? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Do we start giving? Do we start giving to Christmas weeks of paying? I prefer paying. Mm -hmm. okay. prefer paying them to work one. Okay. Are you interested in? Having. 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 
interesting new ideas for products yes i am do you have i love getting getting some Getting some. Uh -huh. What about number three? Providing, providing, providing service to employees each month. Right. Our priority. Okay. I totally agree with that. Besides. Mm -hmm. Hidden. Yeah. I didn't know hidden. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. And you yes. Has to be another one. Okay. Are you worried about asking? Asking. Asking the bank. For the new loan. Mm -hmm. Are you worried about asking the bank for the new loan? Not really. I'm more concerned about Yo. selling. Selling. Selling the new product to pay the employees. Mm -hmm. I'm more concerned about selling the new products to pay. To pay the employees. Okay. Any questions there? Mm -hmm. No questions. No teacher. Easy. Yeah. That was easy. Now let's check your answers. <laughs> okay, nice, nice, nice. Questions, questions. No, I'm a we have two minutes. Mm. Abner Adoni, present Abner Adoni. No. Alexa? Present teacher. Okay. Ana Luisa? Present teacher. Andre? Se desconectó, teacher. Sí, dijo que se tenía que desconectar. Angie Molina? Angie Molina. Angie Melissa? Presente. Vale, cambié nombre, Angie. Areli. Present teacher. Okay. Erling. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Irma Noemi. Present teacher. Nice. Carla Milena. Present teacher. Nice. María. Present teacher. Marta Maristoni. Marta. Somebody saw Marta. No teacher. Present teacher. Miguel Angel. Nancy Katia. Present. Oscar. Present teacher. Silvia Evelyn. 
Ayer se quedó Ursula. I think today, William, is your turn for today, right? Y para mañana ya vamos a ver a alguien que no se ha quedado con la cama. Igual para el viernes. Para el cinema. Ok, esta semana siento que va, pero volando. Volando, volando, que hace que la empezamos y ya va a ser viernes. Well. It was a pleasure to be with you today. See you tomorrow. No hay asueto para los teachers tomorrow. So we see you tomorrow. Okay? Thank you, teachers. Tomorrow. Bye. 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 Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye, teacher. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Hi, William. How are Hi, teacher. ¿Qué me cuenta? Pues ahí, teacher, eh, queriendo aprender. Sí. Ok. Do you have any questions, any comments? Sí, teacher. Eh, the question es como que... Se me vienen a veces los, las palabras, pero a la misma vez, con el mismo nervio estaba <risa> hablando, se me olvida, pero este, más o menos tengo una idea de la estructura, pero no sé si estaría mal de que, por ejemplo, cuando son preguntas, cuando son, eh, se ocupa bastante con los, con las H, ¿verdad? O... Oh, What's uh -huh. de la guay, perdón. Why? Son más comunes en esa, ¿verdad? Sí. O sea, son. No hay que darle mucha vuelta con uno aquí, como dice, está en español, porque cuesta más darle para una pregunta. Sí. Fíjense que lo mejor es enfocarse. Eh, bueno, le voy a dar un truco que a mí me dieron cuando yo era estudiante. Y era aquella estructura que le cuesta, apréndase una oración alternativa. Bueno, negativo en la question. Y de ahí usted parte para la, a todas las demás que vaya a hacer, ¿verdad? Y sí, me sirvió un montón porque a mí me pasó con el present perfect, que era una cuestión así como que aquí. Entonces, sí. se aprende una oración afirmativa, una negativa, una question. Es, aprendiéndose la estructura, se la puede adaptar y apegar a cualquiera de todas las demás. Y, por ejemplo, sí. when you're asking a question, a, a double H question, ya sabe, va el double H word y después tiene que usar el auxiliar, ya sea present o past, ¿verdad? Lo que, vas, lo que va a usar. Si está usando present, el, el do o das. Y si está hablando del pasado, el día, ¿verdad? Y después sí. del auxiliar, ya sabe que viene el subject. Y después el verbo, de que el verbo va a ir siempre en forma base. O sea, que está usando pasado o presente, el verbo va a ir en forma base. In the question. Sí. ¿Verdad? Entonces, eh, si usted... Igual con la, igual con cuando, por ejemplo, esto último que estamos viendo que fue lo, bueno, lo, lo de ahora, ¿verdad? El, y el agregarle el ING. El ING, sí. ¿Verdad? E igual la clase anterior cuando se decía la... Los verbos irregulares, ¿verdad? En sí. la forma que cambia de, del pas, pres, sí. los algunos que se mantienen, ¿verdad? Sí, ahí eh, con los verbos hay tres formas de los verbos, ¿verdad? Tenemos la forma infinitive, que es cuando usted se encuentra el verbo allí, sin conjugarlo. La forma ya conjugada del verbo eh, que si va a estar en presente, tiene que ponerle la S, si es terceras personas o no, ¿verdad? 
pero si vamos a hablar de pasado, que es lo que generalmente nos dan en los cuadros, en Infinity, del past, y el past participle, y algunos le agregan un tercer cuadro, que es el present participle, ese es el que vimos hoy. El Jaron, usted lo puede hallar con varios nombres. Uno, Jaron, eh, ING, eh, present participle es el mismo, es el mismo ending del verbo en ING. Entonces, allí hay ciertas reglas que seguir, ¿no? que son las que les compartí hoy, para sí. saber cómo forma el gerund, porque no para todos los verbos es igual. Entonces, lo, la única ventaja es que ahí no tiene que preocuparse si el verbo es regular, si es irregular, ahí no. ¿Verdad? Ahí no tiene que preocuparse de eso. Lo único que tiene que ver es cuál es eh, la terminación del verbo para ver cómo va a formar el gerund. ¿Verdad? Eso es, eso es lo, que, lo que tiene que, ponerse, que ponerle coco. Sí. Y este, el uso, ¿verdad? Eh, porque son varios usos. El gerund no solamente es para usarlo en el present continuo y ya sino que no sirve, como les comentaba hoy, para empezar una oración, usarlo como subject. Pero si usted dice, por ejemplo, exercise is necessary. Eating healthy is good for you. Entonces, estamos empezando con el gerund. Pero ese gerund en ese caso no es un sujeto, es un noun. Ahí está actuando como noun. ¿verdad? Entonces, está actuando como sujeto al principio de la oración. Pero también lo puede ocupar como verbo, como lo vimos ahora. Eh, eh, con el present continuous, poniéndole hizo, are, y el verbo en, past, en, en present continuous. ¿verdad? Va a ir en gerund. Y lo otro, cuando va a hacer oraciones que llevan dos verbos. Sí. Ese verbo puede ser seguido por, por un gerund, ¿no? Y lo otro es con las prepositions, que siempre que vamos a ocupar una preposición, esa preposición tiene que ser seguida. Y si va a llevar un verbo, ¿verdad? Ese verbo tiene que estar en ING. ING siempre. ING. Siempre que usted tenga una preposición, si usted dice, I'm interested in learning English. I'm worried about eh, not getting a good score. I am happy about learning new things. Entonces, siempre después de la preposición va a usar el verbo en ING. Entonces, si usted dice que mm, before going to bed, I drink water. Before going. Going. Mm -hmm. Before going. After getting up, I take a shower. Entonces, siempre, si va a usar un verbo después de una preposición, ese verbo tiene que ir en ahí. Y lo otro que también, teacher, sería también como que podría estar practicando como aquellas palabritas cuando uno dice puede, entonces, tal, o podría. Esas palabritas son las que hay que también conjugar, la verdad. Del my, min. Los modas. Esos so, son modas. So. Sí, algo son... bien importante con los modas es que el verbo que sigue el modal va a estar en forma base, ¿verdad? Sí. Aunque usted esté usando he o she, no le va a poner ese al verbo cuando va ah. a describir un modal. Entonces, ahí no lleva ese. Y lo otro es que eh, ver cuál es el, el uso de cada uno de los modals, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. que la, igual que las... Question, ¿verdad? Sí. Del who. Vuelvo, vuelvo a insistir porque cuando uno dice, ¿qué pasó aquí, verdad? O sea, y ese qué pasó también uno lo puede decir, ¿y qué pasa allá, uh -huh. verdad? Eh, Exacto. Entonces, creo que algo así también es de, de darle la estructura, ¿verdad, teacher? Sí. Fíjese que con lo, ¿se acuerda cuando vimos lo de las preguntas? Eh, que hay dos tipos de preguntas. Bueno con double-edged question, ¿verdad? Hay dos tipos de preguntas. 
una cuando la respuesta que usted quiere obtener es el subject. Entonces, y otra cuando la respuesta que usted quiere obtener es el object. Entonces, si usted dice, who drank my coffee? Who drank? Ahí no lleva auxiliary. ¿Quién se tomó mi café? ¿Verdad? No lleva auxiliary. Entonces, alguien le puede decir, Pedro drank your coffee. Pedro es subject. Sí. Pero si usted dice, who did you go to the party with? ¿Con quién fue a la fiesta? I went to the party with Ana. Entonces, Ana está ahí al final. Ana es un object. ¿Verdad? Entonces, eh, allí, y eso pasa solamente con who y what. Por ejemplo, cuando usted dijo what happened. What happened? ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? No lleva auxiliary. Pero si usted dice, what did you do? What did you eat? What did you say? Entonces, allí sí necesitamos un auxiliar. Entonces, ahí tienen que ver exactamente qué es lo que quieren preguntar para ver si se le aplica o no el, el auxiliar a la pregunta. Mm, ok. Uh -huh. Okay, I don't know if you have any other question, William. No, teacher. No. Vaya, pues lo vamos a dejar que vaya a descansar entonces. Okay, teacher. And see you tomorrow. See you. Have a nice day. Good night, teacher. Good night. Take care. Bye-bye.